Well, hello and welcome back to my uh, workbench. Today on the workbench, I am taking a look at a uh, board from a um, PS4 model CUH1215A. Um, I've got quite a few of these that I need to fix. Uh, laying around in my garage. This one was laying in there, was not in a case. I'm sure at some point I robbed the case parts to put on another console because this one um, had a problem that I couldn't figure out how to fix at the time. And of course you can see I, I put a sticky note on there that I suspected it needed a reball because it's doing the fast shutdown. Uh, and I'll just show you if I can. Let me get some power on this thing and we'll just see what it's doing. If you can see that blue light under there. Uh, there you go. That's what you get. Quick flash of blue and she shuts off. Um, and I've got a bunch of these out there I need to go through. So what I do, in between PS5 repairs, I will just grab one of these and see what we can do with it. And that's what I'm doing today. I want to see if I can bring this thing back to life. Uh, you know, they're not worth a whole lot these days, but still I enjoy fixing them anyway. Um, so let me go through, I'll get, I'll get this camera set up, and I'll just kind of go through uh, some checks, see if we can confirm if that's what our issue is or not, because it just shuts down, that's all we know. So let me get you set up. All right. So we are shutting down rather quickly. Um, I guess you can call it a blue light of death, but it's it's not what you it's not a continuous blue light of death. It's a a fast shutdown. So uh, let me see if I can get a meter here. If you have one that's shutting down like that, you need to kind of confirm some things such as um, one of the reasons a PS4 would shut down like this is if the 12 volts is not coming up you know the, these supplies have a separate 5 volt standby or 4.8 is what it actually runs uh, you know on these four wire leads just a separate 4.8 volts so that they can have enough power to, to beep and make the light flash but uh, when you press that button, you get a signal from the, um, I think it's the Syscon, to turn on the 12 volt rail. And if that does not come up in a timely manner, you're going to get that same effect. You get a blue light off. So let's just see if this is showing up fairly well. Kind of dark. Let me get another light on over here, maybe. See if that'll help any. I need some better lighting. Don't we all, though? So, um, 12 volts. I could go straight to 12 volts on the back. But I think what I want to do, is actually should get 12 volts right here. This is 12, this is uh, 12 volts coming in to this chain of uh, FETs that generate the APU core voltages. Let's just get there. Uh, I have AC power. Let me turn that off. Cycling the AC power off and back on to give us a reset. And let's just confirm on this coil right here that we get 12 volts for a moment. And we do. And it bleeding off slowly. And all right. So we have 12 volts coming into here. Do we have this should be about one volt. Give this thing a chance to initialize. And yep, about one volt. And she shuts down. All right, and I think this is another rail that's also about one volt. It's a separate rail. We're going to check on that coil. Yes, we did get it momentarily. So those are there. Um, the next thing to check would probably be the uh, voltage to the memory. Turn this over. And all these little capacitors you see, right? These large capacitors will be on that rail, I believe. 
I think they're all on the same rail, which I believe is 1.5 volts on a PS4. Let me get on one of these. It's not on the not grounded side. Um, cycle the power. And find my power button again, which is on the other side now. Let me get right here. Yep, one and a half volts. So we seem to be getting most of our supplies that we need for this thing to come up and run, but it's not doing it. So that leads us to, is there a problem with the APU? Which is what I suspect the problem is. Like when this 12 volts comes up, these rails come up, the APU gets its supply voltages, the memory gets theirs. There's probably, it seems like a very small amount of time that this APU was supposed to be developing some kind of a signal out, back out to either the Syscon or the South Bridge, one of the two or both, I don't know, that says, okay, I'm working. And if that, if that does not occur, uh, the Syscon, I'm guessing, just shuts everything down. And you get to start all over again. So if that's the case, either our APU is dead or we just have bad connections underneath it, which is what I'm suspecting. Let me get a paper towel or something here. This thing has, has got dried, yucky thermal paste on top. It's been sitting out exposed to the just open air for months, so it kind of turns to this dull gray nastiness. Um, most often when I've seen this type of a problem, um, you'll have bad connections under one corner of the APU. Not sure if the board got flexed, not sure what happened there. Maybe there was a drop. But it doesn't usually happen all over. It's usually a corner. Um, so let's see. Turn the power off. And back on. So we have a fresh start. If I put some pressure on this back corner right here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the blue light. You should see the blue light spilling out from here. Nope, she still went off. Come on around this side right here. I guess I need to reset. Get us a fresh start here. Is it this corner? I'm putting some downward pressure. Nope. Okay, try again. About back further around this edge right over here. Kind of hard to get a good grip. Power supply is kind of in the way. All right, I'm going to put some pressure down there. Nope, we still went off. resetting. Let me try this inside corner over here. Still went off. Is it this corner? Still went off. Is it any corner? Is it the whole thing? Still leaning toward this over here. Nope. Oops. Put 
push down in the middle. Nope. Nope. Well, I can't get it to... So we can't really prove that we have a problem with the connection there. But that's what I'm suspecting. I am suspecting we have a connection problem under there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this APU off. And we'll just see if we have a some broke connections underneath this thing. Let me get set up. I'll get my preheater set up and we'll get it pulled off of there. While the board is still hot, I'm going to take a look at it with a microscope to see if we can clean up some of these solder balls, or all these solder balls need to come off. All of these uh, lead free solder balls, we have no use for them. For some reason, I did not have my soldering iron on. See what we can do here. I'm gonna turn a fan on just to keep the smoke out of my microscope. I haven't noticed any torn pads yet.
just mixing some leaded solder in with this lead free and then we will start wicking it off I've already cut me some lengths of solder wick over here any rip pads yet. Got a fresh piece of solder braid or solder wick, whatever you want to call it. gentle as I do this because I don't want to disturb the uh, solder mask if I can help it. If I do I will repair it. Looking pretty clean so far. Okay, what have I missed? There's a couple of pads that could use a little more cleaning. There's one that needs to be 
cleaned a little bit better. Have some solder removed off of it. somewhere there. What else? Okay, I think I got it. Okay. So the next thing on the agenda would be to reball that APU. Fun, fun, fun. All right, well, I think I've got the board reasonably clean. I did have to repair a few spots um, in the solder mask. Not too bad, just a few places here and there that was a little bit, uh, had flaked off. So, um, time to turn our, turn our attention to this APU. See if we can clean it up a little bit, shall we? Take a look at it under the microscope. And let me get my fan on. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on the board, which is get me a big ball of uh, leaded solder on the tip of my iron here. And we're just going to start gathering up this uh, lead free solder off of here. I don't know how many solder balls you know there are on this thing but it's a lot okay maybe a little flux let me get a fresh thing of solder every so often I'll just take the tip off to the side and shake off that ball of solder to get a fresh amount of solder on the tip. Okay. And then we will grab our wick and start cleaning. Try to put a very thin layer of flux 
box on here. I'm going to use my fingertip to spread it around. And of course what I'm hoping for is just enough flux to hold the balls in place and help them flow down in place on the pads and the chip moved of course but not so much that we get a flux river in which case every ball just kind of floats and goes wherever it wants to okay And that is hard to do sometimes. You hit that balance. Oh, and I absolutely hate this free ball jig. I need to replace it. sure how level that is Let's see well, I've seen worse that might just work I'm gonna add some uh, 0.55 ball to this. Way too many, of course, as is custom. extra ones out of there.
Well, our uh, APU is uh, reballed, and I think our board is pretty well cleaned up and prepped. I'm going to put down a little bit of flux and uh, get this chip lined up and see if we can put it back down. You know, get it heated back up, and uh, hopefully she goes back down nice and smooth. Let's see what happens. All right, well, our APU has been re-soldered uh, to the board, and it's time to see if we've done any good, if we've just wasted a lot of time. Get some power. <sighs> Come on. Blue light, she shut right back off. Damn it. All right, where are we now? Uh, well, it didn't work. So I've been going over the board, just going over it, looking over it real close to see if I missed something, and I think I found something. I'm not sure if this was our original problem or not. Let me show you under the... Well, we don't need the microscope for this, I don't think. Take a look right there. there. That is a resistor that has been busted off the board. And um, looking at another another uh, board over at the side of working board that measures uh, about 4.8 K in circuit so yeah let me see if I can get that replaced and it does it, it is in the area of the APU supply so let's get it changed out and see if that helps our our cause in any way here all right so I have changed out that uh, small resistor um, I didn't pull one off a donor I have a, a book of 0402 resistors and I used a 4.7 out of that so let's see if we've done any good whatsoever I got my heat sink on here um, power is on uh, what's she gonna do she stayed on let me get my fan on here uh, are we gonna get a picture I saw it do something. Oh, we have a white light. Oh, it's still waiting. Maybe it's still waiting to tell me it can't find the storage. It takes a while for that to pop up sometimes. 
Come on. But we do have a white light there. Uh, we're overheating. So I need to push down on my heat sink. Okay. Let me turn off the AC again. See if we can get to stay up long enough to give us that message on screen. I need to push down on this a little bit better to get that. There is some fresh thermal compound under there, but I have not really squeezed it and pressed it out. Blue light. Yeah, the monitor is locking. I just, I think it takes a second or a minute for it to give you that message that it cannot find system storage. I think we're working. But I'd feel a lot better if it actually shows something. Let me, I'm going to push down on this heat sink some. I'm burning my fingers. Come on, just give me that message. goes finally okay yep can I find system storage I think we are in good shape so I had to have knocked that resistor off at some point in my handling of the board um, and I think I've done that before that's why I looked over the board because I've, I've done that before um, but yeah I think this board's gonna live again it was just one of them out there in my pile Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that one. I'm going to end it right here, I think, and because uh, I don't really have a case for this one, but I'll find one for it. But if you thought that was somewhat interesting or educational, please give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the very next repair. So long for now.